Welcome guys! In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a good debriefing. So what is a debriefing? Debriefing is a group discussion uh, that allows us to understand what was good and what was not good in a particular situation or task that the group was tackling together. So how do we make a good debriefing? Almost how we make a sandwich. How do we start a sandwich? Well, you know that. We need a piece of bread, a solid, plain base to put our other ingredients on. And in the same way, for debriefing, we call this base facts. Something where we will be laying down our discussion on. It gives us more information on what just happened, what was the situation or the task, whether we've been successful or not, the core information that we need to discuss forward. But we wouldn't just eat dry bread, right? We need something to give flavor to it, something we like to eat, or something that's important to us, like cheese. In debriefing, cheese stands for feelings. In this part, we discuss what was important to us during that situation or the task, what made us feel in a certain way and why it could affect the task. At this stage, it is better not to be judgmental or to attack. Rather than saying, you're inconsiderate, it is better to say, I felt very sad when you did that specific thing. This way, we are being much more constructive. Here's my sandwich, but I'm not really fully happy with it. I think I would have done it differently, actually. But I'm just gonna do it what I can and add a bit of parsley. And I think all the ingredients are here now, so I can eat it. What I just done is think about the future. And this is the last element of our debriefing technique. It is important because we just take what we've discussed, the facts and the feelings, process them, and we are ready to get some conclusions out of our discussion. These conclusions are gonna go forward to our future, so we make sure that when we are tackled with the same situation or the same task again, we're gonna approach it a bit differently and the outcome will hopefully be also different. A tip for the future is to write down what is being said and what the group has agreed on. I hope this video helped you understand how you can use facts, feelings and future to help you and do a good debriefing whether it's in your family or friends or in your professional life. 